everyone, and welcome to the home of your Kentucky State Champion, Pikeville Panthers. It's homecoming right here in Pikeville, Kentucky, a city that has moved mountains. Appalachia is a special place. I've been blessed to be able to live in the mountains. These people take pride in the culture and the great work ethic. They're faith-based, believe in family. That's what home's all about. I'm a third generation coal miner. All right, CSX, ready to load coal, 4.27, load coal. My grandfather and dad both worked in the coal mines. It was like being in a whole other world, like nothing else I've ever seen. Working underground is probably one of the best experiences I ever had. Went to work just like any other day, and at the end of the shift, boss took us one by one into his office and said, don't need you anymore. Lost a job I'd worked at for almost seven years. Called my wife, told her, time's gonna be tough. I had worked 32 years. Suddenly I was in a place I'd never been before. At my age, it was pretty scary. The opportunities around here was basically coal mines. I mean, if you wanted anything else, you had to move away from home. At that time, my wife was pregnant, not being able to provide for my family. I didn't have any hope left. He's not desiring that you sit there just frustrated and broken about your circumstances. Three years ago, we at the height of all the coal layoffs. We just couldn't accept that we couldn't do something else. Good to see you. Hi, neighbor. How you doing? People here had lost their house, they lost their car. They were working for a minimum wage. Our neighbors were suffering. That's my number one priority next year. As people that had operated businesses here for years, Lynn and I, we wanted to find something where people could stay here in the mountains and earn a living that was equivalent to the one they earned in the mining industry. Well, let me tell you just quickly the plan. Here's what we need to do. Yeah. And so we started looking. We investigated agriculture. We looked at solar farms, wind farms, but nothing really worked here in these geographically bound mountains. We knew that a coal miner is just a tech worker that gets dirty. And so our big moment came when we learned about coding. We thought, hey, this might work. That way you can see a timeline as well. I grew up in the area. I basically moved away because there was no tech opportunity in the mountains. I took a call from my cousin, Rusty, and he asked me, can you teach a coal miner how to code? So I thought, how are we going to do that? I guess I'm the only one that I know that speaks hillbilly and JavaScript. <laughs> we were gonna get an export. We also needed someone on the creative side. So we reached out to Peyton. He's a hometown boy. He can live and work anywhere, but he wanted to make a difference in this place. I mean, we would like to do something. Our plan was to try to build a software development company right here in the mountains. We called it BitSource. We thought we might get 50 applicants. We received 950 applications for just 10 positions. When I got the job, didn't know anything about computers, didn't have an idea whether I'd be able to do it or not. Here I was trying to teach them something that they knew nothing about. It's not fair to just give some people some false hope if we can't follow through and make this work. All the naysayers kept saying, well, you can't train coal miners to be able to code. But hey, these guys have been working around tech their whole lives, and they're tough as nails. We can do this. In the beginning, I started to teach them all the basics and how you talk with a computer. Then we use YouTube to fill in the rest. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at what does the source code All of the places in Drupal Core, the code that, that makes up the format. We just started and kept our heads down and worked every day to get better. Let me show you where I'm at. I started to get excited that they were able to work through problems and complete projects. Click yes. Good. Well, before we knew it, these guys were talking in code. I get a full three forbidden back. Mm -hmm. But this ensures successful status code nukes that and now they're making websites, web tools, apps, and we're starting to get clients across the country. Our session cookies expired. As we continue to improve our skills, opportunities are coming our way. Still, we've got a lot of mountains to climb here. 
I'm very proud that I've been able to learn something that I can pass down to my son and hopefully he'll want to do it whenever he gets older. What I'm hoping is that these original 10 could be the ones that help train another 10 or another 20 or another 100. Come on now, come on. And maybe this little endeavor one day make it where our kids and grandkids could stay here in this place and go home.